Hi guys, this is my best friend, Ellie. We've been friends for almost two years and her birthday is on September 24th and I wanted to do something special for her birthday. I needed some inspiration, so I headed over to Pinterest and searched up best friend birthday gifts just to browse and to see what there was. And I had saw this scrapbook, so thank you to whoever made this, um, really cute. So I headed over to Hobby Lobby for supplies so we can get started on the scrapbook. Finally finished shopping and I'm gonna give you a haul of everything that I got for this little project. So first things first, we'll start with Hobby Lobby. So the first thing that I got are these stickers and it basically is a bunch of stickers basically saying the day Oh my gosh, do you know what I just realized? This isn't for best friends. This is for marriage. <laughs> it says, this day I married my best friend. No. So when I was looking at these stickers, I was trying to find one for like friends. And then I saw the word best friend. I automatically thought that it was about friends. Then these cute little flowers. And then these stickers for like lettering. And then those are all the stickers that I got. Then I did get washi tape for um, like the border of the pictures on like some of them. I think it'd be really cute. I went with black because the pictures are like very vibrant. So I didn't want to go with like a lot of color. Then I got a stencil of little flowers for the cover. And then I got this book, like sketchbook. There are 125 sheets, a lot of sheets. <laughs> and I got paint. So I got Pink, yellow, blue, and green. They're like pastel colors. Last but not least, to make the pages fun, got this pink paper. This blue paper with polka dots. Paper with like little red hearts. The same thing in black. I got a sparkly white one. I don't know if you can tell if it's sparkly. Or this floral one, really cute. I had to go with a checkered green pattern. And then this multicolor one with squiggles. I went to CVS. I didn't film my Myself going but I got a birthday bag I'm praying that the book fits in here it's actually perfect like it's the same height as the bag oh my gosh that is amazing then I got tissue paper that says happy birthday and then double-sided tape are the pictures and like all the fun decorations that I got and then the most important thing is I printed the pictures so I do have a picture printer but that thing takes years to print one photo so I would be sitting there for a really long time trying to print almost a hundred photos so the CVS printer didn't pull up all my photos so I only got to print 57 we're just gonna start with the 57 first and just see how it goes oh and I almost forgot from Hobby Lobby I put this off to the side because it's a separate gift but obviously Hobby Lobby has like jewelry. It's like the best store ever. So I don't know. I am a girl that thinks jewelry is so sentimental and I just love matching um, necklaces with my friends for some reason. Like Elizabeth and I have one. So me and Ellie actually don't have a matching necklace. So I found these and they are literally the cutest thing ever. So Ellie can pick either purple or pink. And then I got two chains to make the necklace. So that's gonna be another gift. It's just gonna be in the book itself. So yeah, I'm excited to do this, but let me just say that this is gonna take freaking forever because I would say I'm a perfectionist. So when it comes to gifts, it like, it has to be spot on. So I'm gonna definitely be on myself about this, but I'm excited. So we're gonna get everything set up and then I'm gonna start because I do need to have this book done very soon. So I did the easiest thing first and made the necklaces and they're so stinking cute. I actually really do like the purples so I'm hoping she does pick the pink but there they are. So here's everything set up. I went and got paint brushes, water, and then a paper plate and then I also grabbed this white paint even though it's leather. Ignore that. This is a very bad angle but there's no other way to film this. So the first thing that we're gonna do with this whole project is paint the front cover and the back cover to make this book a little bit more cute because it's just not gonna work. It's really ugly. No turning back now. Okay, so here's what one layer of white looks like. I honestly think that's good enough. I'm hoping because I really don't want to do another layer. 
All right, we got the blue one. Oops. Finally finished painting it. It only took three coats, one white and then two blue. Okay, so I'm gonna take these stickers and I'm gonna spell out our friendship in the middle of the cover. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not even gonna like try to figure out where the middle of the book is. I'm just gonna hope for the best and hopefully this turns out. Oh, this is so hard. Like right there. It's crooked. It's crooked. Our. Oh, you are. Just double checking. That's definitely not in the middle, but that's okay. <laughs> is that how you spell our? That looks really funny. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a word. Does that ever happen to someone where you look at a word for too long and it just doesn't look like a word? It looks like <laughs> time to spell friendship. <laughs> so thrilled about this. Go on straight, seriously. R I E. Oh, this one's really hard. This is the front cover all done. Pretty simple, but super cute. I'm having such a dilemma right now. I don't know what to do and what to start with. I came up with an idea and I can incorporate both an envelope with a letter in it and a picture. I'm gonna cut out a picture of us, like an outline of us and put it on the envelope. I'm literally a genius. I got the first page done. I'm not gonna include a picture. I did find this Polaroid that I had printed out. I think it would be cute there, but I just feel like it kind of ruins the envelope look. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. And I wrote open right here for her to understand what it is. So right now I'm going to write the letter cause that is gonna take a bit so I can finish the first page. Yes, I am laying on the floor writing this. It's the most comfortable way to write a letter. <laughs> I finished the note, it's all done, it's two-sided. Obviously, I have a lot more to say than just this two-sided little piece of paper. Throughout the book, I'm gonna have like little notes and sentimental things throughout the entire book, so I'm not gonna like full on pour out my heart in this note. This is just like to briefly wish her happy birthday and you know, love you, thank you for everything type thing. <laughs> This is the most perfect first page ever. I'm obsessed with it. Hi guys. It is like a week later. I just kind of gave up on it because it's taking me so freaking long and it's not even finished. Like I maybe have 15 pages done and they're not even finished. So um, I actually went to the store today because I knew I was going to work on it tonight to get more um, stickers and more paper because I've been running out of stickers and I was running out of paper and I just wasn't feeling it. So there, I'm going to give you um, a haul of of some new things that I got. I went to the dollar store, so I got these stickers. So these actually talk about friendship, not lovers. <laughs> got happy birthday ones because it is for her birthday. And then I found these, they're border stickers. I think that's so fun. So I'm gonna use those. And then this one also talking about friends. Then these are stickers that I had just found about our house. They're from like a poster I did for English class. So I have those. And then Tuesday morning, I found this pack of 63. They're like vintage stickers. Another thing in the week of the break, I bought concert tickets for me and Ellie. We are going to Pitbull. That's October 16th, which is a Sunday. And then on the 15th, we are going to Hollow Scream. And I also bought tickets for that the same night. <laughs> Okay, so funny thing, the concert is for me. Obviously, I'm not gonna go alone. So obviously I'm bringing Ellie, my best friend, and include it for her birthday. And then, um, and with Hollow Scream, we've been talking about going for a really long time. We were actually planning it way before I even made this book or thought about her birthday present. Um, so I just ended up buying her ticket because they were actually on sale. So that's kind of why I got it a month in advance. It's not the official ticket, but it just says you got the tickets. Here are the Bush Garden tickets. I printed them on this piece of paper to cut them out and then put them in the book. So when she's going through the book, right, she's gonna see a page of saying, oh, we're going to Pitbull or we're going to Hollow Scream. So it's gonna be book as one surprise, but in the book, there's gonna be two more surprises. <laughs> Such an overachiever, what can I say? Um, let me give you an update on the book. So front cover is still the same. None of these pages are finished. Like I still have to finish writing, finish writing on this page. Some of them are, but here's just a glimpse of what it's looking like like so far. This is not finished. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but yeah. Oh. This is my favorite page because obviously it's supposed to be like a scrapbook and I have like the ticket itself that makes it more of a scrapbook. So this is definitely my favorite page. 
so yeah that's basically all that i have done so far yeah we're gonna work on it tonight a week later <laughs> so i'm gonna give you a demonstration of what my thought process looks like when i am doing a page <laughs> So here's an overall look of both pages. So you guys got to see my thought process behind the pages. That's basically what I do for every single page. I pick a picture, and then I just come up with random ideas and just go with it. So I'm gonna listen to this music, work on the book, and I'll keep you updated with how it's turning out. <music> It's 2.30 in the morning. This is what I mean by it's taking so long. I started at night and then it gets to like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I'm like literally so tired. So I end up going to bed and then I don't work on it for like a whole nother week. Funny how we started over there and then just totally migrated to right here. But yeah, it is currently 2.37. But here's the book. It's definitely big. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you an update because I did finish a lot of the pages. So they look different from the last time that I showed you. Here she is, finally finished those. Finally finished these. These two pages are where we left off. So this is what I've done since the last time that I filmed. This one, this. This is definitely my favorite like overall page. This is so freaking cute. They're not done, obviously. Um, yeah, those aren't finished. These aren't finished. Um, this one isn't finished, but this one is super cute. Found a new marker to make it fancy. Also, I spelled September wrong. This is supposed to be an M. Wasn't gonna redo it, so I left it. Hopefully she doesn't notice that. Then this one, and I added a page like this. I think this is really cool. That's all I have done so far. The time comes and I finish the book. I'll let you know what I do, but I'm gonna go to bed and get some sleep. I finally finished it and I am so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys the completed book and yeah, so let's get into it. finished her and she is amazing. I definitely didn't do as many pages as I would like, but on the last page I'm gonna write to be continued and we can add on to this book years down the road, months down the road, whenever, as the memories continue to grow. So I am very happy about this. This is definitely one of my favorite gifts that I've made. So anyways, I feel so accomplished. I feel relief and I am not stressed out anymore. So I have so much free time now. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon back to more videos. Bye guys!